seven zero four. We have crash landed on this strange planet. Terrain seems to be epoxy flooring, and there appears to be no signs of intelligent life anywhere. Buzz, we are clearly in world-renowned mattress store, Bed Bath & Beyond. Look, there's a mattress right there. Hi, uh, welcome to Bed Bath & Beyond. Can I get you anything? You seem to call your society ethical, yet you keep this gentle white creature in a wooden cage and contain it such. Buzz, this is clearly a mattress in a bed frame. Yeah, this is just a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see why you keep this in a bed frame. All right, and welcome to Bed, Bath, Infinity, and Beyond. Thank you so much for coming. This is a comedy improv show, which means that what you see tonight will never be performed again until you watch the YouTube video. <laughs> and then it will be exactly the same. So we're gonna need some audience participation, just suggestions from you guys. So let's do a bit of a pop quiz. Can someone give me a location? A location, Mars. anyone, hands up. Yes? A castle. A castle, perfect, great job. That's exactly what we want. We'll be bringing our first improvers up here for a little game called Superheroes. Can I get Dan, Jack, Brandon, and Serena on stage, please? So this game is called Superheroes. There will be three superheroes and one dastardly supervillain. But to get us started off, I'm going to need the name of a superhero that you wish existed when you were a kid. Something like a spring man, or a lizard that's also a statue, yes? Q-tip man. Q-tip man. Q-tip man, perfect. And now we need a world-ending catastrophe for Q-tip man to solve. Something that would like halt the world in its tracks, like every starburst is the yellow one, yes? All the planets have disappeared. Maybe a little bit lower stakes than that. I don't know if Q-Tip Man can deal with that. Yes? It's raining cats and dogs. It is raining cats and dogs. That seems like a world-ending problem. Let's see how these superheroes are able to solve it. Superheroes. <laughs> Get home from a long day, cleaning out people's ears and being dipped in alcohol and cleaning off iPads. <laughs> the the hard hard life of a Q-tip. Jeez, oh man. Let me just let me just raise these blinds so I can look outside. Oh, jeez. Those are cats and dogs falling from the sky. It's literally raining cats and dogs. <laughs> They're dying quite... Jeez, okay. <laughs> this is something that a Q-tip is not prepared to clean up himself. <laughs> oh, man. All right, all right. I'm gonna need the help from a friend. Oh, it's Long Elbow. <laughs> hey, it's me, I'm Long Elbow. My elbow's pretty dang long. Long Elbow, I see you keeping it squeaky clean as always. I am, what seems to be the problem? Well, currently, oh, is that in your ear? Let me, uh... Oh, ew. Dude, you gotta clean those oh, thank you. Preferably not with me. So, <laughs> the issue appears to be, that's a second window. Look outside! <laughs> oh my god! It seems to be raining cats and dogs out there! Literally! <laughs> I'm not sure if I heard that right. I think it might have something stuck in my ear. <laughs> no, it's all clean. <laughs> They're well, still out there! You can also see it with your eyes. It's raining cats and dogs. You might need to clean my eyes, too. <laughs> oh, oh! All clean. They're still there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I don't think I'm equipped to handle this, no matter how long my elbow is. <laughs> it seems like we're gonna need some help from a lawyer who's literally a snake. <laughs> yes, it is me. A lawyer who is literally a snake. <laughs> I can just no ear holes to clean. I can just slither up this window, and yep, I can see it is 
straining <laughs> dogs. Maybe <laughs> clean my clear snake eyelids. <laughs> uh, clean. <laughs> it is still raining cats and dogs. Thanks for the legal help with the divorce. I really wanted it. Anyways, but today we have some trouble that's not legal. Um, do you have any ideas on who could have done this? Yes, it, well, first it seems that the cats and dogs are getting divorced from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is clearly a job from her. This is a job done by Asteroid Man. <laughs> The cats and dogs raining is just the rain before the asteroid rain. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will take over this world and I will flood it in rocks. I can handle this. I'm armed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my elbow! His elbow is shorter than previously. <laughs> I'm gonna slither you into a restraining order. <laughs> colleagues collapsing out in front of me. Oh, but your crevices are dirty. Maybe if I clean those up, you'll become an anti-villain. Your evil tendencies have all been cleaned up. Fantastic. I didn't think the Q-tip could do it, but he found a way. <laughs> Next up, we have party favors, so could I please get Kai, Steven, Rachel, yes! and David on stage? Yes! All right, so in this game, Kai is going to be hosting a bit of a party, and a few colorful characters are going to stop by, and Kai's going to have to figure out who they are. But first, Kai, you gotta get the hell out of here! <laughs> All right, and now we need suggestions for who these three colorful characters should be. Think of something like a person with a strange desire, like Abraham Lincoln, but he doesn't want people to comment on how weird his haircut is. <laughs> or maybe even an object, like a golf ball that really wants to go to the moon. <laughs> any, any takers? Any idea for colorful characters? Yes? A heater tube, but instead of air, it's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other, any other suggestions? Yes? An overstuffed burrito. An overstuffed oh. burrito. This burrito's just got way too much stuff in it. David, you got that? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes? Loud uh, ice cream. Loud ice cream? Loud <laughs> <laughs> ice cream? Yes? You are a demonic cheerleader. 
You are Narcissus Pinocchio. All right, let's get this party started. Get Kai back in here. And we need a location where a party or event might happen. Yes. No. No, no good event happens in an Applebee's parking lot. Yes. A never ending ball pit. Never ending ball pit. You like it, Kai? Not All right. This party will be happening in a never ending ball pit. And let's get this started. Time to set up. So glad I have all this space. You could even say infinite. <laughs> well, all right. I suppose we'll take this one arbitrary point and start here. Um, so evil. Of course, who can't forget? Cups, plates, food. Wonderful. All right. Now to wait. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm a little stuck here. Uh, I think someone dropped me. I, oh, no. I, I, I'm, anyway, hello. Hi. hi. Can I, Glad I could make it. Yes, I'm impressed you found this point in yeah. infinity. In one piece, no less. I, it's, of course. It's impressive that I haven't disintegrated already. Of course. Uh, yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Yeah, someone, someone must have dropped me here in the infinite vastness. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where my... My true owner is. <laughs> he must still be there, unsatiated. Yes, of course. Uh, well, I'll just make Have myself at home. Yes, enjoy the ball pit. Play the world free. Knock, knock. Oh, <laughs> It's an inanimate wooden door. Oh, wow, that, I never noticed that was there. Yeah, I, I, I can fix that later. <laughs> Great! Thank you! Um, I can see that... Ooh, really? Good at fixing things, yeah? I can see that. I'm better than you. <laughs> okay. I'm a real boy. <laughs> you suck. I can see your nose growing. <laughs> Uh, have you seen anyone particularly hungry around here? Like, really hungry? Oh, hello! Oh, hello! <laughs> Hi! Welcome to the party! <laughs> Enjoy your time here! Do you... have you been to this vast ball pit before? No, I think I've come from somewhere much more... Treacherous. <laughs> Lovely. Would you like to join me next time? <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's a little hotter than the hot sauce in me right now. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that really shattered my perceptions. <laughs> the brim of delicious ingredients. I, I, how could I not be good enough? Oh yeah, you're so nutritious. <laughs> really gotta wash those hooves there, fella. Um, Alright. Well, when you say you come from treacherous lands, do you mean mountains? I mean the ones who are a little bit more beneath the surface. <laughs> yeah, you're so such an angel. <laughs> I see, there is a special place for people like you. <laughs> All right. You need a bike. Oh, of course. All right. Well, everyone, there is lots of room to hang out in this ball oh, pit, infinite I, as it may be. I can tell. Yeah. yeah. I'm still, I still don't know where my owner is. I, yeah. I'm looking out into the infinite horizon, and it's still nothing. I have to say, I, I 
really got to break it to you. I don't think they're coming back. <laughs> All right, one minute left. Lost in the ball pit again. <laughs> it's okay. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> That's the best news I've heard all day. Yeah. No. Everyone enjoying each other's company? No. <laughs> you know, if we leave this ball pit, maybe there's a Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Taco Bell is such great food. What's wrong with Taco Bell? I, I mean, I, I don't it's, it's so much better yeah. than Chipotle. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. Agree. I agree with the better than Chipotle. Chipotle yeah, yeah. over Taco Bell. Yeah. All yeah. Right. yeah, you really did. <laughs> Stop telling lies. He had a bit of like, uh, he was saying he was better than other people. I mean, it was a good guess. <laughs> so, a pretentious person whose nose keeps growing? No, he is, he's Pinocchio, that's right. But he's got a, a bit of a personality deficiency. Oh, he's too egoistic. Yeah, he's a narcissist. Oh yeah, and my nose did not grow for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and finally, who is David? Hot sauce bottle. Oh, oh, very close. Um, there was some more stuff other than hot sauce though, like Fragile? maybe cheeses and meats and uh, beans and rice and. Oh, like a uh, platter of food. Mm, it's uh, Taco Bell would have hot sauce on it. Over very, uh, I can't uh, eat it. Nachos? <laughs> 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 David was a little, he's a little wrapped up right yeah. now. He can't say it. A burrito! Yeah. 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 Good job so guessing fast. there, Kai. Oh, and you guys can yeah. sit down because we're bringing up for more anything. The one and only Dan, Jason, Brandon, Stephen, Matt, and Rachel. <laughs> All right, so this game is called More Anything. These six improvers in front of you will do multiple scenes based off of only one word. And at any point in these scenes, I can ring the bell and say more blank. And whatever that blank is, they have to add more to it to the scene. So these are gonna get a little bit hectic. Can we get a one word suggestion for these improvers? One word is all we need, yes. Grueling. Grueling, do we like grueling? <laughs> all right, so let's get, get a few words. Get, let's get a few words, yes. Corporation. Corporation, yes. Smooth. Spoon! <laughs> Alright, just yell one out if you really like it. I guess. Uh, yes! Drugs. Drugs, no! <laughs> yes! Pasta. Pasta, do you want to do pasta? Yes! Aroma. Aroma. That's good. I just, I just want some, some enthusiasm. Aroma! Alright, we like aroma. 
One word, aroma. Let's see these scene guys. Aroma. aroma. <laughs> uh, just got done working out. Oh, oh, oh. oh give me some more of that. More liking disgusting smells. Uh, check this out, check this out. Oh. Smell that, smell that. Oh. Bro, bro, give me some, give me some, give me some. Oh. Oh. Next scene, next scene, please! Hi, would you like to buy my aromatic candles? Yes, what do they smell like? Everything. Everything? More not being specific about your product. That sounds like a good product. Yeah, it's rainbow too. It's, it has a shape. Uh, excuse me, uh, you said you have everything? Can I have a, a toaster scented candle? Yeah, it smells like slightly burnt toast, but... Mm. <laughs> More specific candle requests! Uh, can, I have a, can I have a candle that smells like marshmallows but only on Tuesdays? <laughs> no, that's easy! More specific! I, 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 uh, I'd please like a fireproof candle. <laughs> Introducing smell vision <laughs> Behold, this man, you can smell him. <laughs> yes, I can. Wow, that's an amazing product. Tell us, what does he smell like? Vision. <laughs> More information about this man. <laughs> what is this man's occupation? <laughs> Smelling like things. <laughs> What's his salary? <laughs> One. One. <laughs> and his birthday? Me. Hold on. I deserve to be paid more than that. Nice smell. For the man standing up for his rights. I'll form you in a union. Yeah, alright, I'll form a union. Alright, hold on. Can we can we get this guy out of here? I union get out of here. Let's get a union. I vote for a union. Next scene! Uh what was the other one? Looks like a stuff came in here. Oh, oh it's it ruined, what is it? It ruined it's little smells. Jimmy's birthday party. <laughs> Our little Jimmy's birthday party being I ruined. I mean, look, look, everyone's. <laughs> In this little game, 
Um, we're going to be holding a funeral service for someone who tragically died in a very unfortunate accident. Um, we're going to need a suggestion from the audience of like a kind of unfortunate way to die. Something like uh, being torn apart by magnets or something like falling in the shower. Any unfortunate death, yes. A man died while trying to mine Bitcoin in mines. Why is he trying to Bitcoin in the mine? Any more suggestions? That, uh, yes. Slipping on a banana peel. Slipping on a banana peel, a classic, but I feel like we can get a little bit more original than that. Yes. Clean your bathroom with bleach and then accidentally keep your hands afterwards. <laughs> Dude, you like that video? I love it. All right. He's about to perish after cleaning his bathroom with bleach and then accidentally licking his own hands. Let's see it. Funeral service. Oh God, Sunday again, huh? Gotta clean the bathroom every fucking Sunday. No one else All right, here we go. Got the bleach in the bathtub. All right, come on. Okay, that's enough. Uh, Motherfucker, okay. I'm just, why doesn't anyone help me with this shit? Like, honestly, like, this is, am I just the fucking maid of the house? Like, what the hell? Mm. All right, okay, mm. all right. Oh man, I got a little on my hands. I'm sure that's no big deal. Um, okay, uh, water, water, yep. You know, one actually smells kind of good. Um, like, Finger licking them, like. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Man, dude, kind of bummer they died. <laughs> He's always cleaning the room. Oh. I was an RA in my building, someone died. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> It sounds like you didn't really tell us to read the in safety instructions on the bleach that I provide, but I will say, it shows that we have good bleach. <laughs> Listen, I, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a dirty scumbag. <laughs> I, I, I helped out cleaning the place. He always used to do all of it. Now that he's dead, who's going to clean it? Like, I remember the one time I had the na nacho party in the bathtub. Oh, man, that was some good shit. <laughs> hey, how's it going there, buddy? Are you eating nachos in the bathtub? <laughs> yeah, dude! What else would I eat nachos? I'm going to wait? Dude, I'm eating them out of the fucking tub. Look, I look in the drain, there's some salsa. <laughs> and you've got this queso in the soap tray. Yeah. What the? Oh my it god. It keeps it clean, gives it a nice sunny taste. <laughs> What the hell do you know about keeping things clean? Look at me! I'm just, we don't have to wash the dishes! <laughs> I wash the dishes every time. First. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm picking like some of the you know, some fuck off your shoulders, you know? Okay, well, you see, this isn't, this isn't exactly what I had in mind when I asked you to help out, all right? Do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I mean, no bleach, also. Yeah, that is a plus. And I mean, it is kind of more appealing when it touches the bathtub, actually. <laughs> I think that sort of is obsession with licking stuff out of the bathtub. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that might have just been it. it. That seems like a plausible uh, reason. It seems like he was he was he was beginning to discover the potential of bleach as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I remember going in, being his RA, and seeing all the uh, you know nacho cheese all over the bathtub, and I was like, wow, I gotta talk to this guy. You know, I gotta make sure he cleans all this up. Yeah, he never cleaned up after it. I understand. I, I, well, I think that might have been what he was doing. You know, with all the bleach, but. I remember coming in and being like, man, dude, you gotta clean this up. <laughs> man, dude, you gotta clean this up. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm working on it, all right? It's just like, I'm not gonna lie, I've grown a little attached. Um, but like, yeah, yeah, I know, it's just, like, 
I don't know if you know my roommate. He's a real fucking scumbag. Oh yeah, <laughs> scumbag Dan. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> Just yeah, like this was all his doing. Like I, I had a chip. He had everything okay. else. Uh, so yeah, that's a good excuse. But as your RA, I can't really take that excuse. This, this has got to be cleaned up. It's it's part of my duties. It's all right. Oh uh, God. All right. Fine. Fine. All right. You, you make a good point. You know, like. All rays can't go around letting their their uh, students having queso in their bathtub. Look, I've got a good idea for you, okay? If you get some bleach, you clean this all up, it'll be the easiest thing. It'll just take like five minutes. All right, yeah. Um, yeah, um, you know what? I could get some bleach. Oh, yeah, there's a bleach store right around the corner. Convenient. Let's go down. I mean, it was clear when, when you came into the store together that he was not, I mean, he was enthusiastic about cleaning, but he was not prepared to follow proper safety protocols. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, I was thinking, like, maybe putting a little bit of the bleach in, like, the nachos, but, like, I read the instructions. You know? <laughs> I'm also a safety kind of guy. <laughs> it's a rare combination, but I'm glad that you were at least being safe. <laughs> Poor him. I, I remember that time you bought it. You called me a scumbag. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on right in and welcome to hey. welcome to Bob's Bleach Boutique. Bob. Oh, nice to meet you. Are there any nachos here? Uh, we have nachos as uh, one of our test demonstrations. They're a very common thing that we get people needing help clean up with. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, can we see that? Yeah, here's, here's our tray of nachos. Here's our strongest bleach. Now, Ooh. it's very important when you use this bleach <laughs> yeah. that you do not eat the bleach. You can eat the nachos now, but once the bleach is involved, you can't touch the bleach, you can't lick the bleach. Okay, we need some of the nachos! Yeah. <laughs> but this don't good, man. You make good meat nachos. You said, you said eat. Um, Eat bleach. I'm sorry. Like, yes. Do not eat the bleach. <laughs> Read the safety instructions. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, I don't think he's understanding me. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat whatever's on the table. <laughs> okay, so whatever's on the table. Now we have right. We have. Right. I'm just gonna pour the bleach on here, and look, look how the nachos just melt away. It all goes right whoa, down the drain. Whoa. You know, not gonna lie. Like seeing those nachos like disintegrate like that. It's kind of like. Kind of reminds me of like when I digest nachos, you know? No! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, can I put this, this bleach in like my brand new wok recipe? Oh my god, I'm gonna get sued. No! <laughs> no. When you, when you use the bleach in the bathroom that I can tell has nachos all over the bathtub just by looking at you because I can tell that you're a scumbag. <laughs> Thanks. When yeah, you use the bleach, do it. not eat the bleach. Do not lick your hand and read the safety instructions. Is that, is that all the safety instructions? Yes! Shit. <laughs> you know, I think it all happened when I ordered the KFC. <laughs> oh, and the smell, the aroma. You never said, don't put bleach on KFC. I guess they well, need... We'll have to adjust the instructions for that. Thank you for informing me. No problem. I can sue you, though. Uh, you'll be here for my lawyer. <laughs> I gotta pay Steven's tuition somehow. But anyway, you know... I remember, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go get the KFC. Don't drink the bleach, but wait for the nachos. It all happened too fast. Okay, listen, I'm gonna go pick up some finger looking good KFC. All right, all right. Um, like, are, you, are you gonna bring it to the bathtub again? No, that's for nachos only. Okay, all right. Ah, I'm a distinguished man. Distinguished, okay, sure. Yeah, listen. You know, clean the bathtub, and I'll bring some KFC in. It's gonna be finger looking good. All right. <laughs> Have a good time. Motherfucker. <laughs> so much queso salsa. I don't remember the guac last time. <laughs> this is just a, 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 a fucking nacho supreme bathtub. Like, I'm just, all right. Bleach everywhere. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. And water, right? Ooh. Look at it disintegrate. Wow. Um, that is like, that's some strong bleach. Don't eat it. Right. Don't. Don't eat it. Don't. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, God. Hold on. KFC. <laughs> Bathtub. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> that smells like KFC, doesn't it? 
Wipe this down, yeah. Um, huh. You know? <laughs> Wait. No, they did say don't lick it, right? <laughs> yeah, so I got some KFC and I you know I think we should eat in the bathroom. I know I told them no, but we're gonna eat. You gotta call the beach guy. <laughs> Got a fun game coming up next. It's called Speed Run. Can I get David Trader and Max on stage? <laughs> All right. So these improvers are going to do the same scene a couple of times, but the first time they do it, they're going to do it in only one second. And they're going to do. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. I, I've jumped the gun there. They're going to do the scene in only one minute, and they're going to do the same scene in only 30 seconds, and the same scene in only 15 seconds, and the same scene in only 5 seconds. And finally, we finally got there where I start off. They're going to do the same scene in only one second. And all we need is a location. One location, please. Anyone? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. The bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the ocean. Yes. Of the ocean. <laughs> all right. Let's see. All right. I'm putting one minute on the clock. Let's see this one minute scene. And go. Speed, Speed rod. rod. Oh my gosh. I've discovered a new species of fish diving under the water. Hello! Oh, it can talk! I'm a fish! <laughs> what, what, are, what are you doing down here? Oh, uh, taxes. Oh. <laughs> fish taxes? That's ridiculous! Can, can you show me how? Oh, of course, you just do this. <laughs> That's how easy it is to file my taxes? Yeah! Up on the surface, the goodness. The situation is so much more complicated. <laughs> really? Yeah. Can you explain them in detail? <laughs> no! <laughs> That's impossible! Well, let, me, right. let me try the fish way. <laughs> uh, you, you gotta do it, it's a little more like this. <laughs> yeah. It worked! Wonderful. My taxes are filed. <laughs> All right, that was one minute. Let's see the same scene again in only 30 seconds. Go! Oh, hello, fish. I've discovered a new fish. Oh, what do you do down here, fish? Texas. Texas? Underwater? That's impossible. Yeah, we just do them like this. Do it like this. Up on the surface, it's so much harder. Oh, wow, that's crazy. How do you do it on the surface? Can you explain it to me? Oh, no, it's impossible. Let me try. Oh, you're going to do more like this. Oh. <laughs> Did it work? Yes, my taxes are filed. <laughs> All right, that was 30 seconds. Can we see them do the same scene in only 15 seconds? No. Oh, my gosh, it's a new fish. Oh, 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 uh, what are you doing? Taxes. Oh, move. Let me try. Oh. It's so hard to do the taxes. Yeah, like oh, I see, I see. Did it work? Uh, let me check on my phone. Yeah, yeah, the taxes are filed. All right, that was 15 seconds. Can we see the same scene again in only five seconds? Intermission. Please get your raffle tickets, raffle tickets ready, and we'll start reading out the winners. Let's start. All right, well, we're going right back into it. Can I get the long form team, Five Guys Burgers and Serena, up on stage? <laughs> Our, our yes. Yes. 
That's Serena. All right. So this is this is called long form, which means we're going to need suggestions that are a little bit longer. So get your thinking caps on, because I'm looking for a story about one of your friends that's very embarrassing. Or if you don't know a story about your friend, feel free to tell us an embarrassing story about yourself, but say it's about your friend to protect yourself. <laughs> so any of those stories, do I have any takers? Yes. So I have a story about my friend and myself. Um, <laughs> uh, when he was in elementary school, every time he used to go like sharpen a pencil, you know, very common thing. He's always used to say his name as he's like, Turning the day the sharp as a pencil. So he was like, he was like, Bob, 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 Bob. Exactly. Did anyone ever call him out on it? No, but when he was in middle school, a girl walked up to him and said, yeah, you used to do that. It's kind of weird. All right. So said your name while sharpening a pencil, and then in middle school, a girl said it was weird. All right. Any other stories? Something embarrassing. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Yes, you in the front. <laughs> when I uh, when I was a when my friend was a youngling, like five years old, uh, he was at his mom's job and he was just drawing pictures and then going to the copy machine and copying them and giving them to my mom's his mom's coworkers. <laughs> and uh, uh, I I was doing one copy and then two copies and three copies and I drew a raisin, a really detailed raisin. And I pressed six, and I was like, I don't know if that works. So I pressed six again. <laughs> oh, enter. I made 66 copies of this garbage raisin drawing I made. Were you in a world of trouble after that? Yeah, I was yelled at by a very scary man, and that still traumatizes me, which is why I remember it. <laughs> All right. Copied a drawing of a raisin too many times. I got yelled at by a very scary man. All right, and we need one more. Embarrassing stories. Yes. Uh, when this person was going to a yoga class, they thought it would be a good idea to play a prank on their mother that was also taking a class by surprising them with a slap on the butt. And <laughs> not the person that they thought it was. Oh my god! Do you, do you, do you remember that, or do your friends remember the aftermath of this? Uh, we never went back there again. All right. All right. Slapped a stranger's ass thinking, this doesn't make it a lot better, thinking it was your mom's. All right. All right. So we have, we have, we have slapping ass. We have a girl telling you it's weird when you say your name while sharpening a pencil and getting yelled at by a loud man because he you copied a picture of a raisin too many times. And all right, let's get this started. Harold. John, John, John. John, John. Yeah. So you came to me after school, you know, because you wanted to learn more about, about cubism. Yeah. I, Picasso is such a great artist, you know. I know. Um, you see, I've, looked, I've always looked up to his work, and I want to be like him when I grow up. Yeah. If you want, I could show you my work right here. Mm -hmm. I got this nice pastel painting. Wow. And now I have my little art pastel with all my colors. That, that's a great raisin you have there. It is. <laughs> Jason, Jason, Jason. Jason, Jason, Jason. No, John, that's not what you call your teacher. Okay, um, I'm, I don't mean to be rude, but Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> oh my god. If this is how you want to paint, fine. Because I'm looking at your work right now, and it's marvelous. I can see all the lines, all the points. No squiggles at all. No squiggles at all. Even Picasso would be jealous of your work. Aw, thank you. And time for the final touch. Yeah. Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> That's even beautiful than Van Gogh. <laughs> Yeah, this is something else. 
<laughs> hey, Johnny. Hi, Becky. Uh, what are you doing with the pencil sharpener for the fourth time in this class? <laughs> I broke my pencil again. Okay, I mean, I did too. I'm just going to sharpen it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna walk away now. All right. Bye, Bye. Becky. Goodbye, John. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, it's your first day. I have high hopes for you. Uh, Janthony is your name, right? Uh, Jonathan, but close oh, enough. I mean, it's really, a, it's really a nice name, I would say. I could really see myself yelling that name at you, maybe to go faster around the, the bases. Um, I think that's, you know, that's customary with coaches. I just gotta... Just about all about motivation, you know. And you know, I like to do it to all of my players, but you know, especially you, because you're new, so you need that kind of motivation on the field. Um, I mean, I guess if that's what they do in sports, it's best not to question it. <laughs> Hello, this is Acme Supplies. We used to sell explosives, but now we sell school supplies. Please leave your message after the beep, and we will accompany your order request. Signing off. Hi, yes, the pencils that I ordered from you exploded. I'd like a refund for all my lost pupils, thanks. <laughs> Please, I need more pencil sharpeners. <laughs> They're the only things that bring me joy in this cruel, cruel world. <laughs> hey, uh, so I'd like to complain about these pencils because I was chewing them, and I found there's a safety hazard inside of them. That lead is not edible. <laughs> um, hi, yeah, uh, Acme was it? So, you see, I was using one of your pencils to uh, draw a, uh, a, a cave in the side of a mountain, and then somehow, like, someone actually went inside it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is this Acme? I have a big complaint. I'm pretty sure explosives qualify as school utensils. <laughs> Ah, so welcome to Cal Arts, my John. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know, I, I've been following your work ever since your elementary school retention of the Raisin Cubism portrait. Uh, we, we, uh, it, is, it is such a brilliant piece of work. We, uh, you see, uh, now I go on to even more elaborate raisins. Ah, I see. You've been to France. Yes, I have. I, uh, I've been studying them abroad. And uh, I really want to learn the culture and really learn the raisin. Yeah, so you know what comes next after raisin? Yes, watch. I'm going to take this raisin and I'm going to turn it even more shaded the raisin. Go ahead, sir. Jason. Jason, Justin. <laughs> um, I can't believe it. That's actually my name. Oh, no way. That was the name of my old art school professor. <laughs> no. How times have changed. I know, right? <laughs> Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> you see, the more I shade it, the more pretty the raisin glows. <laughs> see, the, the gloom atmosphere, it's like Van Gogh. It really is. I've really adopted my style ever since art school. Now I go for that more fun mode after everything. Jason. Yep. Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> So I've been looking over your resume. You seem pretty qualified, maybe even overqualified to be an intern here. Um, Perfect. How many cups of coffee can you hold at one time? 
Um, let's see. Uh, two in my hands, three in my arms, and two in my head. So. Okay, could you? Ten. Uh, there's got to be more places where you can hold the coffee. Uh, <laughs> so if I could do a little. <laughs> you know, I like to run my office here like it's a sports team, you know? So. I don't think I can hold coffee. Time for culinary class. We're moving up in the world. No more pencils. We got. <laughs> God, I hope Johnny's not my culinary partner. Oh, oh fuck. Hi, Becky. Hi, Johnny. Um, were you gonna use the stove, or...? Yeah, I was intending on it. Should I? <laughs> Go ahead. Nothing hey. nefarious. Gotta toss <laughs> I'm a master chef, this is what I'm going into. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah, I'm, I'm just taking this for the elective, but I've gotta say, I'm, I'm thinking about switching it up now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go do some chopping. Can you handle the stove? Yeah, yeah, sure, I got it, I got it. Oh yeah, a little oil. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this <laughs> Introducing Raisin Bran, but this time without the bran. It's just all raisins. Do we have any, any, um, no, there we go. Man, it's just as sugarous as grape juice. Oh my goodness, yes. How is your bowl of raisins, sir? Hey. It, it has the rest of Nestle grape juice. Mm. I I'm hate glad. raisins, but I do love this cereal. I'm <laughs> glad. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, because it's not just raisins. After all, it's raisin bran, but we removed the bran. But there's still a little hint of the bran there. Perfect. <laughs> just what I love. Oh, I see. Oh, there's a little bit of bran here. Is there like a totally branless raisin? Well, actually, yes, there is. There is raisin. <laughs> Here, uh, that's all I wanted! Hey, so I'm actually worried that there's not enough raisins in here. Can we get some more raisins? Maybe? Oh, of course, of course. Would you like raisin bran minus bran, or would you just like raisin? I would like raisin. Uh, <laughs> extra raisin. Ooh, a lovely, lovely choice. We've got the raisin squared variety for you. <laughs> Whoa. Hey! This little creature stole my raisin! <laughs> As one of the raisin pickers here at Raisin Bran, I like to pick the raisins right from the vines. <laughs> it's perfect for the raisins. Oh, can I have them in my bowl? Sure. Thank now, you. See, I like to start off every single day with just raisin, of course. And I'm wondering, are we ever going to get raisins without the raisins without the bran? <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. That is uh, uh, the next thing in our line of products. We have, just for you, Amazing. Our next new product. How do you like the... It's amazing. <laughs> ah, it's, it's been a great pleasure of your pain being displayed on the mat. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, you see, um, at this point, I've just made a most very realistic raisin now. I love this raisin with all of my heart. I love all the primary and tertiary colors in there, melding in into some sort of gloomy atmosphere. I know. Um, see, when I was looking at the raisin in the dark, I was like, how can I draw this? And now I think all I need to do is sign my name to it. And then it will be commemorated forever in this art museum. Yeah, that probably is your secret. Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> oh wait, I accidentally wrote Jason. <laughs> so, I hear that you're interested in a promotion? Yes, I am. Um, well, what, what, what makes you think that you're qualified? 
Um, I'm just that good. I've got a busy schedule, so I mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm here and I can do the job. <laughs> All right, first day of biology class, here we go. We're starting right off with the frog. Excellent, okay. Why is Johnny always my lab partner? Oh, hi, hi, Johnny. Um, want the scalpel? No. <laughs> This next game is a game called Objections. We have a lot of improvers on stage, which means that we can solve any problem that you give us. So we just need a single suggestion of a question that you've always wanted answered or a problem that you can't fix. Yes? How are Q-tips made? Sorry, how are Q-tips? <laughs> how are Q-tips? How are Q-tips made? Well, we're about to find out. Does anyone want to take the stage for how are Q-tips made? Start us off, Jim. Okay, so we take the little hair off the gremlins and then we stick them on a stick. And then Objection? You yes. You fed them after midnight. Sustain! <laughs> okay, so if we feed the gremlins after midnight, it actually enhances the, the, the quality of Objection. our products. That's past my bedtime. Sustain! Uh, I can't be up till midnight because my bedtime is 7 p.m. Right? Objection! That's loser speed. Sustain! <laughs> like, only nerds don't stay up past their bedtime. <laughs> Objection! Oh. I... Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm a nerd. I go here. Sustain! <laughs> Guys, we go to Stevens Institute of Technology. We're Objection. nerds! I am Steven. Sustain! <laughs> Why? Let's get on with Stevens. Overrule. Objection. It's spelled wrong. Sustain. <laughs> see, see, everyone thinks that pH is the same as B, and it's really not. Never <laughs> yet. Do you want me to call you on your phone? Objection. My favorite letter is Q. Sustain. <laughs> Why is it Steven spelled with a Q? Q's are so much cooler. You can do so much. Objection. Objection. Oh my God. Um, only cool people go to school. Overrule. <laughs> Um, the stack is a much better data structure than it is. Sustain! The Q is an overrated data structure. The stack is... <laughs> LIFO versus LIFO! Uh, last in, first out. Sustain! Uh, all data structures should be last in, first out. Array lists. Overrule! The lines at Disney World are getting longer and longer. Sustain! Look at us. I mean, they're always getting longer than the Disney World. Are we in the haunted mansion? Sustain! Objection! <laughs> Haunting this mansion! Sustain! Objection! Objection! Don't roll, Raggy! Oh, I'm very happy! <laughs> the answer to the answer to the how our Q-Tips made is Rup Roll Raggy! <laughs> Thursday in case one day oh, you want to be up here. And that's it. Thank you so much. Woo!